My name is Tanner. And I'm Devin. And this is The, the Buzz. Buzz. Hey, this is Devin. I'm here with Sarah, who is the squad leader for the Hornet Pride Spread the Word to End the Word campaign. So I was talking to Kyle earlier. So uh, he said that you guys were inspired because people are using the R word in it, the wrong context. Is that true? That is true. Um, students think it's OK to use the R word to insult their friends or insult just things in general. And that's not, like Kyle said, that's not the way that we want to use that word if we use it even at all. How are you guys like planning to kind of stop this from happening? So we've started the R Word Pledge. Students during lunch on Thursday and Friday can come up and they'll take the pledge online and then we'll help them put their name on a sticky note to show that our school is against the use of the R Word. That sounds great. I think it's really important that students understand that it's not, it's not funny and kids that are mentally disabled or physically disabled don't think it's funny when they use those words to describe other, you know, like I said, their friends or a situation. Uh, Sarah here, squad leader of the Spread the Word, the, Spread the Word, the End the Word campaign, and we're. Should be clean because no one messes with it during stat. All right, sweet. Yeah. Oh man, every bathroom should be like that. What's your name? Cole Mitchell. Cole Mitchell, what do you think about the school bathroom? I think they're gross. And someone should clean it up. They're pretty gross. What's your name? Nelson Buckmeyer. What do you think about the school bathrooms? I think they're disgusting. And why is that? Because everybody just trashes them and they're just disgusting. Alright, thank you for- Alright, would you ever use the bathrooms here? No way, they're way too gross. Alright. <laughs> oh, 
I'm so sorry. Oh. How gross. Please treat our bathrooms with- Otherwise, we may face consequences as a student body. ...last week and won very many prestigious awards. This is what they have to say. So, two weeks ago, we just got back from New Orleans. Um, it was a really great time. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, we had a lot of free time in the French market. Um, we went to Loyola University. Um, just ventured around. It was a really great place. Um, but at our festival, we got a gold rating, which is really good because there wasn't, I mean, there was select schools who got gold, so you would do really good to get gold. Um, we also got the Adjudicator Award, which is a really, really big trophy. And um, Tyler Ustery got the Ovation Award, which is, um, Mr. Kunzelman wrote in about him and about how well he does in the community, how well he does for our band, like how much he does for us. And out of all the people that got wrote in, um, Tyler won that, so that was really cool. Um, Raquel and I got the Maestro Award, which is for our solos, so we were two out of the six people and out of a thousand kids who got that award, so that was was really cool. And, it was, and having gold rating, that um, makes the band eligible to go to the next festival, so we were paving the way for the people, and it was really fun. Being in band and going on the trip that we did is that every single person has their part that they play in in our team, our band team. And the great part is every single person there wants to be there, and like Kunzelman always talks about, is there are no there's no second string. If everybody is pulling their part a hundred percent of the time. And we played well together every single time we played in multiple performances. And I think that was probably my favorite part about the trip, is being able to connect with people on that level that we haven't been able to before. My favorite part of the trip was the way that we displayed our kindness and our respect for each other and everyone else around us. And Kunzman says he only travels with people he trusts, and it really showed that he can trust us and that we're pretty cool kids.